We're going to be covering wireless connectivity issues and software updates on the Brother PE900 embroidery machine. Welcome to the sewing report, I'm Jen and this channel is all about making sewing and crafts fun and approachable. I've had this machine for a few weeks and I've noticed the wireless connectivity is not very reliable. Sometimes the machine display will indicate the Wi-Fi signal is active and strong, yet when I'm trying to transfer a design for my computer, that software can't find the machine. It seems to happen when I've turned the machine off and back on again while the computer has stayed on during that time. This was rather frustrating, so I wanted to share that keeping the embroidery machine on while restarting my computer seemed to resolve this issue. After that, when I went back to the transfer software, I selected Options, then Network Machine Settings, and was able to add my machine. I did change its name to Sewing Report. And finally, I successfully transferred a design wirelessly. Select the pocket icon, then the wireless signal with the pocket. Keep in mind you don't have to use the wireless technology to transfer designs. Like the older models, the most direct method is to use a USB flash drive. Select the embroidery design file on your computer, drag and drop it onto the USB drive folder. On Windows PCs, there's a menu on the bottom right to safely eject hardware, including the USB drive. Then remove it from the computer and reinsert into the embroidery machine. Either way you go about it, the K-monogram is ready to stitch out onto a set of bath towels. Something you'll need to do periodically is update the software or firmware on your machine. Under the wireless menu, it will tell you if there's a new version available and there is for me. Down below in the description box, you'll find resources with Brother's own instructions on updating the software and where to download the latest update. You'll need a USB flash drive that has nothing on it. If there are any files on it already, you'll need to format it. Right click on the drive and select Format. I also renamed my USB drive to PE900 as I'll be using it for embroidery. Then hit start to format the device. It basically erases everything on it. Now let's head to the Brother webpage to grab the latest software. You do have to select which operating system your computer is on and firmware is available for both Macs and PCs. I have a Windows based computer with Windows 10. Then you can download the latest version of the software. You'll get that standard legal agreement and then download the update file onto your USB drive. As a reminder, on Windows PCs, there's a menu on the bottom right to safely eject hardware, which includes the USB drive. Over at the embroidery machine, press and hold the needle up down button while simultaneously pushing the on button. The screen will prompt you to insert the USB flash drive. Press the load button, then wait until the file completely saves to the machine. When you get that update complete message, it's done. Now your embroidery machine has the latest update installed. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out some of my other embroidery videos here on the channel. I'm Jen with the Sewing Report. See you guys again in the next video. And remember, whatever you're doing, make it fun.